Good afternoon, this is Chrissy. Uh, firstly, let me thank you everyone for the wonderful comments I received on my last uh, video where I shared my two nature journals. I was blown away by the comments and thank you so much. And also welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to anyone who's been with me for some time. So I'm happy to share this new project with you today. Um, I've called this little bag Madame's Pochette and a pochette is uh, like a, a wallet or a clutch bag and um, I've made this lace, um, lace bag and in it are all the things Madame uh, holds in her bag. I've made this great big um, tattered flower here on the front and it's also embellished with this pretty lace dangle and some seam binding that I've dyed and some pearls. Inside the bag uh, Inside the bag I've lined it with a uh, pretty um, fabric, embellished it a little bit there. I've put gussets in this bag because there's a lot in it. There's a lot happening in Madame's pochette. <laughs> I'll share it with you. Um, but uh, yeah, she's, she carries quite a bit with her. So let's have a look and see what's inside. First of all, she has this little notebook that she uh, carries. This is the faux leather uh, cover and uh, it's just a small little book about four and a half by five and a half I think and uh, it's what I call my bare bones journal. Um, it does have a little embellishing in it, but um, not a great deal, so I'll go ahead and show you. Um, I made this 10 inch piece of snippet roll. It's not a roll, is it? It's a snippet piece. And my thinking uh, when I do the bare bones journal is that you can cut up the snippet and use it to um, embellish the journal if you wish. So that just has a little key attached to it. And here is Madame. As I say, there is a little bit of embellishing in it with this envelope. quickly go through different papers. This is from a Harrods catalogue. Pocket here. Tag here. another envelope there and that can actually just tuck in underneath there. Uh, these papers are from TLC Creations. Some embellished ruched um, fabric there, another tiny pocket there. Another pocket here and a big pocket in the back. And that just goes over again. And um, I have also put 
into the pocket um, this lace that I've coloured and my thinking with this is that if you um, do wish to cut up the snippet piece to use well then you've got the lace to close a journal because Madame does like to um, keep her notebook private then then next she has um, this little collection of pretty pretty cards that she likes to carry with her and um, there's four cards there I've etched them with gold and um, tied them with a little piece of silk sari silk so there's that and then um, she carries her calling cards in this little lace pouch and uh, she has her little collection of calling cards here And uh, she has some postcards. And edged with gold. And another uh, little envelope there. And then this little bag. I made this little bag with um, printing this onto tracing paper and this is um, a design from Sue Olsen. In the bag she has two handmade tags. So there's a lot going on in Madame's uh, crochet. A lot of a lot of goodies. And then this is her stack of um, of letters tied with this pretty pretty coloured lace. And here is a little trinket with a picture of Madame There's nine envelopes here, uh, etched in gold. In this one, um, she has a pressed flower that um, came out of a bouquet that her husband gave her and she pressed the flower on some pretty lace and she carries that with her Has some little cards in it.
and this one with that and and a letter. this one Just while I'm showing you this, I wanted to mention, um, I had a couple of comments on my last video um, and the people had commented that they couldn't hear me very well. Uh, well, I don't have a very loud voice, I'm afraid, and um, I would just like to suggest that um, if you can't hear me, just check that you've got the slider right up. Um, underneath the video and also the volume control on your computer if you've got those two um, up and you still can't hear me uh, then underneath the video you'll see a, a little button that says uh, a little CC button you'll see that underneath the video and if you uh, click on that that will bring up captions so um, if you can't hear me you can actually read the captions so um, I hope that helps These are pages from a, a Victorian um, Herod's catalogue. And some paper that I've aged. I'm enjoying using the, um, this tape, um, I forget who it was, it may have been Nick the Booksmith I think, showed us how to, um, I'm not sure about that though, um, showed us how to age the tape and make it look yellow with alcohol inks and I've been enjoying using that. You know how old sellotape goes so yellow with age. I've um, edged all these with gold. I really enjoyed making this project. This 
one has uh, a pretty card. Uh, two old invoices. And more interesting reading from the Harrods catalogue. And so uh, all these just go back together. And so they all just tie back up with the lace. And so they all fit very easily back into the pochette. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for uh, spending some time with me today. Bye now.